by casting sleep. Perfect. That would probably be pretty good. So, uh, can you go ahead and ping the point where you want it to go? Let's right start here. right there. Okay, right in the middle here. Okay, sounds good. All right, so you're going to affect basically, yeah, there's, there's going to be quite a few of these things affected. Stand by one second. Good move, guy. Good move. Damn good move. Still can't see quite how many are in there, but On it sounds God's like part. Rock is surrounded, so anything AOE sounds good. Yeah, you can hear a lot of fighting through there, Misty. You can hear a lot of metal on metal and, you know. I'm starting to get concerned. Doesn't line of sight, isn't line of sight awesome? No. So, is sleep a sphere? I gotta, I gotta look at sleep real quick, sorry about that. Yeah, it's a circle. Okay, so, okay, cool. Very good. Very nice. Mark, mark, mark. Uh, thank you very much for the sub, CT Snicky. I totally appreciate it. I want to be careful not to meta, but I'm going to be thank honest, guys. Much, I'm a little Snicky. concerned. Thank you for the sub, sir. Here's your points. I do appreciate it. I've got to uh, double check something real quick. How do you think I feel? I might kill another guy's sleep. character. <laughs> Well, you're good because of resistance, so... And if half of them are put to sleep, that'd be nice. I didn't even realize you had sleep, guy, so I'm, like, super excited now. Yeah, I've got sleep and I've got grease. I mean, if one of you guys have lightning, combination right there okay so your 20 foot is gonna affect this kobold is gonna affect this kobold and possibly uh, another kobold around the corner so I want you to go ahead and give me the the roll that you need to make what is it 5d8 I think it is. I believe it would be 1d8 plus 5. Uh, if I, re Abernathy, thank you, if I relocated the the center, could I uh, affect the two that are over there on Rural Rock? Uh, what if you change the, the point? Well, you've already said where you wanted to put the point, so I mean, I, I'm just putting it where you, where you told me to, to put it, so and you say there's three within range there? There is, yes. Uh, I will I will ping them for you. Uh, this one will be affected. This one will be affected. Right here, the blue one. And there is also one around the corner uh, that is within line of sight of your spell that will also be affected. Abernaki, thank you again, man. I appreciate it, dude. Seriously. Okay, so that's a 1d8 plus 5. No, it's 5d8. 5d8. And then we will go ahead and uh, start with the lowest hit point creature and work our way up and sleep as many as we can. So just just remember, the whenever you cast something, it's going to be 20 feet, including uh, the point. So the point's the middle of the 20 feet. So it's going to go, you know, basically 10 foot up from the point, 10 foot down, 10 foot right, 10 foot left from the point. Well, the reason I'm, it's, a, it's very difficult because of the angles and the dynamic lighting. I'm kind of having to guess. That's... Okay, so that's 5D8 with uh, no, no, with no add-on? That uh, should be just, let me, let me open up the spell card real quick. It's just a plain 5D8. Yep, 5D8. 
and then you take those you take those amount of uh, whatever you roll and then we'll deduct uh, okay 25 so these kobolds have these amount of hit points apiece so all three of the kobolds uh, are actually there are four kobolds that are affected I'll take a gimme any day okay so there's one there also so there are four kobolds that are slept and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a, a red mark on them to represent that they're that they're basically no in fact I'm gonna do the the angel basically because they're they're incapacitated so okay so and I want to scream down into that room barbarian they're all yours <laughs> Rurok, you're up now. You want any other movements or anything, guy? You can go and take movement. You won't take an attack of opportunity from any of those that are slept, so. Unconscious. Okay. Okay. No movement? Okay, Rurok, go ahead and go. Alrighty, Dave, I'm going to attack the one in front of me. Okay, this one right here. Let's see if you can cleave him. Yes. Down. Oh, yeah. It's it. Go ahead and do a 1d12 plus 4 because you're raging. Oh, yeah, this, this kobold basically gets cut in half. You basically just yeah. cut him in half. No problem at all. I just needed a lullaby to be able to hit something. That's all you needed, man. Little, little uh, TLC. Just wait till you get a uh, more attacks around. All right, so this is slept. Uh, this guy is gonna attack you. This is the guy that's directly behind you. Uh, he was not affected by the spell. Uh, he does pull out his. Well, he had his dagger in his hand anyway. Uh, he's going to attack you with advantage, and the boon from the. The viewers as well, which is going to be a 23 on armor class, and uh, the, ooh, you're actually going to get hit for three piercing damage from the dagger. Uh, you're taking half damage because you're resistant. So, all right, uh, I will go ahead and uh, move up a little bit more, and uh, I think that's going to be it for him. Uh, next up is the the Drake, and it is the let's see which Drake is it? It's the Drake that's uh, coming up the stairs. So let's uh, let's do this, shall we? Uh, looks like you're going to intercept this Drake, Kadojo, and it is going to run up to you and slash you with a, a tail lash and also a bite. Alright, because he does get uh, multi attack, resistant to lightning. So, alright, the tail slash is plus 5, 1d6 plus 3. Alright. The tail slash is a 23, and you're going to take a total Hit. of uh, 6 bludgeoning damage from the tail, and he follows up with a bite. And that is going to be a plus six, and that is the that one. The last attack puts three. me at half health, Dave. Okay, and the bite, which is the vicious, the bites hurt a lot more. You've noticed, uh, the bite is a miss. So you've you've dodged a, a bullet on the bite. All right, so now we've got. Uh, Gonna have a, another couple kobolds joining the the fray this round. That's where all those rolls were coming on, coming from. I had uh, kobolds in the the turn tracker that were hidden on the GM layer. So, all right. So I'm gonna do a a movement. Four, five, 
six okay there's another kobold that is starting and this is a this is a wing kobold so you can see that there is a wing kobold that just rounded the corner uh he does see you guy and he he basically what he does is he picks up because there's lots of rocks on the floor uh, and he picks up a really nice size chunk of rock and he hurls it towards you guy you're within yeah your plain line of line of sight and, and all that good jazz so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and attack you with this rock and he 17 versus armor class I'm not too sure if that's hit it's close. That's a hit. Okay. So, ooh, actually, you're going to get smashed for a total of seven bludgeoning damage. And that puts me down. Okay. So, what were you at? I didn't see that you were you weren't uh, you weren't in a weakened condition. So, all right. So you're you're, you're I, down. I was at numbers. five. Okay. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll go to, to life and death saving throws for you. Let me uh, let me get those up there for you. I need to check the I need to check the status of sleep because if sleep is a concentration spell, then those kobolds will not be slept anymore. So I just need to check something real quick. Oh boy. Would it be too late to have the group consider a re-roll purchase, Boone? Mm, no. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be too late. No. Um. Sorry, it's weird talking to the party in the middle of combat. Do we want to buy any boons for ourselves, guys? Do we want this to be our boon? If we bought anything, I would probably would think health-wise. Yeah, health might be the best. I think uh, everybody is... Yeah, there's no inspiration left either, so... Nobody has inspiration, so... Let me let me check this spell real quick on, on sleep. Uh, sleep? Nope, it is not... Uh, it is not concentration, so... Uh, they stay asleep. They are still... They are still uh, lounging away. Thank God for pixie dust. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely right. sound like there's right. sawn logs in there. Alright, so this wing kobold is uh, done. Uh, next up is a slept kobold that is done. Uh, we are up to Misty. There are so many kobolds in here. I... I... I think people want healing. Is Are people in agreement we want healing? I'll, I'll purchase us healing. I'm, I'm in with you. Same here. I'll buy it. All right. So okay. you guys want to do the the half half hit points basically. Fifty percent health. Yes. Yeah. So whatever whatever half your hit points is, like uh, Krivgar, you have eighteen hit points. You would get back nine hit points. So add nine hit points onto whatever you have. Like uh, Rurok, you have thirty five. It would be rounded down to to be seventeen. So you would get seventeen hit points back. So that's that's how the boon works so i will go ahead and deduct the points from everybody throughout the night and i'll get that for you guys so you guys go ahead and get the boon uh what does that do for me by the way that that that's going to bring you up back to whatever half your because you were at zero hit points you were unconscious at zero so whatever your half half hit point is uh which would be nine so you'll be back at nine and you won't be unconscious anymore. But you're going to be prone, uh, but you're just not, you know, you're going to have to stand up. But and I'm no longer gonna... weakened. Yep. So there you go. So let's <laughs> see, the viewers have used their boon, and also the party has used their boon. So, uh, Dave, I am also no longer weakened. I'm full health, baby. Okay, that sounds like a winner to me. Looks like uh, It looks like it's turning around a little bit, possibly, perhaps. All right. I Whatever I punch, I destroy. All right, Missy, what are you doing? You still have six temporary hit points. And full health. Yeah. Um, I don't know how that happened. <laughs> so 
I, I, I'm a tank, guys. Let me, let me in, Captain. Let me in. Here's your shield. <laughs> um. Uh, I'll give you the tank spot for the night if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I should run off and leave you guys to these. Y you last round you told us to, right? Yeah, I told you to fall back, follow the dwarf and the ranger, fall back. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that then. I'm gonna go ahead and take that as a uh, as what a, my action will be. Um, let's see. I you said that was rough terrain, right? The rocks? The Yes, the, the, the large rock pile there in the, in the, uh, the hallway there, in the, the other yeah. cavern. That is difficult, so that will that will definitely cost you two. Alright, I'm gonna at and least move to, yeah? The corpses would be two as well, right? Just the corpses are two also. Or... Yes, they are. Yeah, that's that's always been like that. Yeah, they're, they're always like that. Okay, I can move around the, the the corpses though, so let me think it's a push. Oh, space bar. Ha ha! I can do this right. Okay, so I'm gonna move around the corpses and I'm gonna s stop there and take in my surroundings. And it looks like I have line of sight now on some bad guys. Um, but they seem to be sleeping. So. Yeah, you can actually get a pretty good eyeful. Um, there is a shit ton of kobolds. This is probably the most kobolds you've ever seen in one place. <laughs> uh, I see the winged kobold as well. I can hit it from where I'm at then, right? The winged kobold? Sure, I'll let you attack him, sure. You're you're in line of sight, sure, why not? Okay. Um, so that would have taken 5, 10, 15, 20. It'll take 30 for me to move one more forward. Would I have better... Line, nope, I have better line of sight from the rocks. So I'm going to stay at the rocks. And I will attack the winged kobold because that's what Misty's been doing. Always attacking the winged kobold when she sees one. So I have a new desire to kill something. Okay. I think I've got all of the, the kobolds. Alright, so. In the, um, the thing with the stuff. Rawr, Eldritch Blast on winged kobold. Pew pew. Here we go. Right, attack away. That's like the best cantrip ever. Especially you get to modify it. Yeah, I had to I had to make a purchase for that essentially. <clears throat> but yes, that's how I work. Yeah, you can see uh several of these other kobolds they are in a like the the fetal position basically. Uh twenty four on armor class is definitely hit. Yep. Very Bang. Nice yeah. Nice hit. Rawr! This the swing kobold uh, he goes down. He explodes, basically. Your your orb of force goes inside of his body, disappears, and then he expands and just <laughs> splatters everywhere. <laughs> okay, so since I'm so much like Ranger, I've just got this new imagery that winged kobolds in specific are my nemesis, and I just totally decimate every single one I come across, guys. I like it. So, are you going to be trying to petrify their wings, huh? Ooh. I do want their wings for components. <gasps> I forgot about the other ones. Okay, I'm going to move a little bit more, and then that's my turn. <laughs> okay. All right. So I've got uh, some more kobolds that have the final batch of kobolds has entered the, the fray. All right. That's it for him. This kobold is uh, asleep. Uh, next kobold. Two, three, four, five, and six. All right, so I've got one kobold in sight. Uh, he saw that orb of force coming down the hall. So this this kobold <laughs> here, uh, I am going to launch an attack. Uh, he's going to pick up a, a boulder as well, a small chunk of rock, and I think he might he might be able to heave it. Let's see, it's 10, 20, 30 feet. Disadvantage? No, there's no, there's no disadvantage or anything. I was just checking the range. You're 30 feet, so uh, 
he will be able to hurl it at you, so... Alright, fair enough. Uh, that's going to be plus 6, and the damage is going to be 1d6 plus Car 3. Car in the tank. If it hits. So that's a 15 versus armor class versus Misty. And who wins ties? Uh, the, the NPC attacking. The person attacking. Oh. So, okay, right. well... So 15. you're gonna take. You're gonna take. You're actually gonna get hit for a pretty good amount. You're gonna hit. Get hit for eight bludgeoning damage. So go ahead and take your six off, and you only use two, because you have your six temporary hit points. So you only right. use two. So that's that's a good thing. That's why I like having that that blue bubble there with the the life in it. It's it's so it's so easy to tell that you have it. So, all right. So that's it for that wing kobold. Uh, let's see, where's this other wind cobalt? It is dead. That is the one that's a uh, Rurok, basically. Was that the one that he cleaved in half? Oh, where the, where the hell? There's so many kobolds here. Mm -hmm. Too many Take four kobolds. or five of them off, it'll be okay. Oh, this is down to where we can count them. Oh, this is the Drake. I'm sorry, it, it, duh, wings. I thought it was a kobold, but no, it's it's the Drake. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to climb up this uh, this embankment again, and I'm gonna try to climb up this with disadvantage. I get a three modifier. DC is 15. Okay, so the the Drake just continuously tries to climb up, and you can see this happening, Kadojo. And and nothing happens, so he is not able to get up. CT Snakey Man, thank you again, man. That is, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. All right, so let's see. Next up is. All right, now that's the dead kobold. Next up is another kobold in the turn tracker, which I'm trying to find these kobolds. All right, another kobold is going to emerge from around the corner. Probably holding a sling, and I'll get your XP for you in just a minute. There, CT. Thank you. Was it with cobalt and slings? I wish he was holding his arm instead. Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. So another another cobalt uh, pops up around the corner, and I'm gonna let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do. Uh, I don't have perfect line of sight for the barbarian because he's around the corner because of that corner. So I'm gonna shoot one down the hall over Sisson guy and try to hit the warlock again. He just saw his friend <laughs> explode into little bits and pieces of kobold, little kibbles and kobold bits. So he uh, is kibbles and bits. <laughs> kibbles and bits. Kibbles and kobold. <laughs> kibbles and kobold bits. All right, so that is a 13 versus armor class, which is a miss on Misty. So the, the rock barely almost, you hear something whiz over your head, guy, and then this sling bolt hits about, right about, you know, chest level with you, Misty, hits the, the side of the rock. So you're safe from there. <sighs> All right, so Krivgar, you're up now, up against the wall. What are you doing? Okey this is a um, mess, guys. There are fucking kobolds everywhere. At this guy, before I do any more sort of movement. Okay, go for it. Thank you, uh, CT. I, I totally appreciate it, man. Okay, don't. <sighs> yeah, I'm just going to move you, man. here. Thank you, I appreciate it. And I'm done. We all have those kind of rolls, man. It's okay. Thank you for the kind words, man. Alright, so that is a miss. Stormwolf, you've moved. Krivgar, you're done. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take an attack with advantage with the Wing Kobold on Rurok. And this is uh, right here. That is that Wing Kobold. Uh, he is attacking you with a dagger. So it's plus six, 1d4, plus three. All right, so, ooh, Rurok, that is a crit. So that is a natural 20. I'm going to go ahead and roll another d4. So the crit hits you for a total of three piercing damage. I owe the chat five as well. 
All right, so that is it for the kobold uh, with advantage. That was a, uh, you know, that was well. Next up is Silverclaw. You are up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and attack. Okay, you're gonna attack the guard drake. Gotcha. Yeah. Is that better roll? Yeah, eleven is a miss. I like that. Because I can see the the five and the six for the mod, so very nice. Thanks, dude. Okay, okay right. I'm gonna go ahead and attack with my bonus attack. Okay, offhand. Don't forget that. Oh, son of a. Uh, I'm not gonna do a. Uh, I'm not gonna do one. Usually I do one, but you guys have your hands full, and I don't. I'm not gonna do that, so I'm saving my XP. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a. We're gonna get a another winged kobold into the party here. And in fact, I'm doing a double movement. And it looks like uh, this this kobold is barreling up. All right, you've got one staring at you at about height, about eye level as you're as you're starting to get up, Sisson guy. So now, uh, Sisson guy, you are up now. You can use half your movement, and yeah, there you go. Stand up. You wouldn't be prone anymore if that's what you want to do. Unless you want to stay down on the ground. It doesn't matter to me. It's up to you. No, I want to stand up for half my movement. Okay, so you will have 15 feet left. And I'm going to take my crossbow, and I want to uh, uh, take one of the two balls that are attacking Rorok. Uh, okay. That now, one. Taking a consideration. That's a sneak attack. Well, yeah, it is going to be a sneak attack, but you got to take into consideration. You've got a baddie in your face now, so anything that's within five feet of you, you're going to get you're going to get disadvantage with your ranged attack roll. So you you have to take that into consideration now. So you you can get the uh, the attack, but it's going to be at disadvantage. Because anytime you do a ranged attack, it's disadvantage. Whenever you have a monster right up on you, like you do currently. Sorry, guys. I need to free a rock. I'll go ahead and take the attack with disadvantage. Okay, sounds good. Or you can switch weapons and attack the winged kobold in front of you. It just depends on what you want to do. If you want to go ahead and take the the roll of disadvantage, go ahead and hit the disadvantage macro. Ooh, another one. Uh, I'm not gonna do the wheel of misfortune. You guys got your your hands full. So We've already had enough misfortune. Uh, you you guys have about a dozen kobolds still. So, uh, Rudrak, you are up, sir. Wow. So there you go. That that could have been two. Alrighty. Wheel of misfortune to, rolls. Um, swing my axe mercy. over my head and. Pretty much try and get the one behind me that stabbed me with the critical because that yeah. bastard needs to die.